And now we are also being joined by Lambert Opera, who is the Director of Corporate Affairs and External Linkages of NHRC, to weigh in on the matter of the killing of Rinji Bala. Good morning, Mr. Opera. Good morning to you. Sorry, we're happy to have you now. Uh, let's go straight into the matter. It is distressing to hear of victims. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. It is distressing to hear of victims of alleged extrajudicial killings. What was the context of this particular case? Well, it's an unfortunate case um, involving an undergraduate of uh, the University of Joss, Rigi Bala, Peter Bala, and um, I think six other colleagues of his. Um, Rigi was extrajudicially killed, and um, he was alleged to have been um, apprehended by Plante Group enforcing the lockdown uh, directive in uh, Plateau State and then handed over to the army and was taken to one of the units along uh, Zaria Road, Joss, uh, interrogated and was asked to leave. And um, as they were about to leave, uh, so it was said, um, fire was opened on, on them, and then uh, Ringy fell. Now, your press release, Mr. Okwara, documents that from March till now, we have had 29 deaths as a result of these unfortunate events. Please help us understand the connection between the lockdown and these tragedies. Well, certainly, the... the violations of the right to life escalated during this uh, lockdown. One, as a result of the excessive uh, disproportionate use of force by those entrusted with the responsibility of managing the enforcement. By this, I mean the law enforcement agencies. And then, of course, it also goes to show that those who are manning this enforcement lack the basic knowledge of um, operating under the standard rules of engagement. They don't have much knowledge of um, national and international human rights laws. And that's basically the truth. And some of them are not well trained not well equipped, they were just out on the street carrying directives that are not properly defined for them. Mm. Although we are glad an investigation has been called for, uh, you would agree that we are used to, you know, hearing of such investigations. Are you hopeful that we will get something from this particular experience? Oh, yeah, we will. Um, even those documented uh, complaints which we forwarded to the very <clears throat> relevant agencies. Some of them have been concluded and others are ongoing. In the case of uh, Rigi and his colleagues, a commission, you know, has already launched a full-scale investigations as directed by the Executive Secretary, Tony Odrupo, yesterday, after receiving the preliminary report. Um, I assure you, this, um, re this particular incident will be thoroughly investigated, and those who are the culprits will be f brought to book. The reason why I say this is that we have a very strong collaboration with the police and the army, and uh, that top echelon, they have always worked with us, they have always... Um, cooperated with us, and um, officers who are found to be um, going out of their ways have always been fished out and uh, treated accordingly. Mm -hmm. So this case will not be different, and don't forget, it has to do with um, right to life, which is the premier 
Right. All right. Now, might there be need for some uh, other fundamental intervention into the recruitment and training of our security forces, you know, to ensure they are mentally fit to perform their role? Yeah. Um, over the years, we at the National Human Rights Commission has always said that the process of uh, recruitment and enlistment into the uh, different forces um, is very, very faulty. One from recruitment, training, and deployment. Those candidates seeking to be listed into the force must be thoroughly interrogated. There should be background checks beyond their physical fitness. There ought to be checks on their psychological balance, on their previous um, workplaces, their families, just to determine whether they are mentally and physically fit for the job they are going to do. Because you are going to entrust somebody with um, arms, and um, it takes some kind of tra professional training, beyond professional training, uh, psychological um, understanding before such a person could um, appropriately use those uh, arms. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so very much, Lambert Opera, for your intervention this morning. And keep safe where you are. Thank you very much for having me.